Looking for the best Z690 motherboards? Look no further. We've curated an extensive list of the very best motherboards currently available for sale on the Z690 platform. Intel's 12th generation Alder Lake CPUs are some of the most demanding processors on the consumer desktop platform, so it's only right that you find a perfect Z690 motherboard to pair with your brand new CPU. We've done an extensive review of the top 5 Z690 motherboards and rated them according to VRM design, aesthetics, connectivity, and value for money. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. You can also find more detailed analysis and reviews of the best motherboards on our website, bestmotherboardzone.com. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. Number 5. Asus ROG Strix Z690A The Asus ROG Strix Z690A is one of the best mid-range Z690 motherboards on the market. It offers high-end features and performance while keeping a reasonable price tag, making it a great choice for gamers and enthusiasts alike. There are some compromises here and there, but the overall package is quite impressive in a relative sense. Starting off with the power delivery, the ROG Strix Z690A uses a 16 plus 1 phase VRM design to power the latest Intel CPUs on the Alder Lake platform. This VRM VRM is capable of delivering clean, stable power to the likes of the i9-12900K even when overclocking. The high quality components and extensive cooling make this power delivery setup stand out. With a couple of massive heat sinks for heat dissipation, the ROG Strix Z690A even handles extended loads very well. However, the board may struggle if paired with an overclocked 12900K with custom voltages over an extended period of time. Still, the VRM on the Asus ROG Strix Z690A is very well rounded, providing great power delivery and overclocking potential. It is an excellent motherboard that offers a number of features that are sure to appeal to gamers and PC enthusiasts. For starters, the board includes 4M2 slots for added storage capacity capacity and faster data speeds with high-speed NVMe drives. It also features Intel Wi-Fi 6 and 2.5 gigabit LAN for fast networking, and there are a total of 10 rear USB ports, including three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports for connectivity. A small gripe we have with this motherboard is that the default memory compatibility speed is only 5,333 mega transfers per second for DDR5, which is a bit lower compared to the competition. You can also go with the ROG Strix Z690E for this spot, as it's quite similar to the Z690A apart from the color scheme. The Z690F variant variant is another alternative from the same ROG lineup, but it's a bit lightweight in terms of features when compared to the former two options. Arguably the most attractive aspect of the board is its unique design and color scheme. The ROG Strix Z690A has a refined design language that shows Asus's dedication to the ROG theme. The color scheme is primarily white and black, with hints of blue throughout the board. The white and blue color combination looks fantastic, and it's not something you normally see on a ROG board. Of course, the board also features RGB lighting, which can be customized to taste using the AuraSync software. This board will look really good in white themed builds that are ever so popular nowadays. Asus has done an excellent job with the aesthetics on this board. All in all, the Asus ROG Strix Z690A is a great motherboard for those looking to build a high-end gaming PC without completely breaking the bank on the motherboard. It offers excellent VRM performance and loads of features, while also being reasonably priced. Its unique design also brings something fresh to the table in a world of very boring-looking motherboards. Number 4. MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi if you're looking for a high-end, performance-oriented motherboard to power your CPU with excellent features and technologies, then look no further than the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. This expertly crafted piece of hardware not only has top-notch stability, but also provides extreme overclocking capabilities thanks to its supreme VRM design. The MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi features an 18 plus 1 plus 1 phase VRM with 75 amp power stages. This ensures enthusiast-grade CPU overclocking capability for high-end processors such as the Intel Core i9-12900K. The MSI BIOS has also been specially designed to be user-friendly in terms of temperature management and automatic overclocking options. Moreover, the VRMs in this motherboard are adequately cooled by large heat sinks, which make sure that the temperature remains within reasonable limits under extended load periods. The all-around overclocking suite makes this motherboard the best overclocking motherboard for the i9-12900K. When it comes to features, it becomes clear that the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi is designed for high-end gamers and overclockers. With an array of options that will meet even the most demanding needs. Our selected variant comes equipped with support for DDR5 memory of speeds up to 6,666 
66 megahertz. It has the standard PCIe Gen 5 support, 2.5 gigabit other LAN port, and Wi-Fi 6E to make your life easier while also coming with, with 5M2 slots for storage needs as well. There's nothing much else you can ask from a high-end PC in 2022. When it comes to design and aesthetics, the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi is a unique motherboard. It sets itself apart with its use of carbon fiber pattern and adds an extra touch of prominently featured MSI Dragon graphics on top. The large RGB Dragon logo over the I.O. cover may not go well with all builds, but it is certainly an interesting choice. Further analyzing this polarizing design choice, the entire PCB is covered in heat sinks and heat spreaders, and you barely get to see the PCB at all. MSI wrote carbon near where they placed the chipset heatsink, which makes it a little more unique. MSI Z690 Tomahawk is an alternative option to the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi, but we went with the latter because of the superior power delivery setup over the Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. Furthermore, the Tomahawk offers an inferior feature set as well. The MSI MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard is an excellent choice for those looking to overclock their processor. It's in the premium price bracket, which makes it a bit of a difficult buy, but it still has solid features that make this board stand out from the rest. Number 3. Asus Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi the Asus Tough series has always been known for its high-quality and user-friendly motherboards. The newest addition to this renowned lineup is the Asus Z690 Plus Wi-Fi board, which offers significant features considering its low cost. You do not even have to worry about wasting your older DDR4 modules since this is the DDR4 variant of this board. Even though the pricing of the Asus Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi is rather modest, Asus has not sacrificed the power delivery system at all. The 14 Plus 4 phase VRM design is quite robust for any modern Alder Lake CPU, and you can even dabble in moderate overclocking on your i9-12900K. Asus has provided some sizable VRM heat sinks on this board as well, which are adequately thin to improve heat dissipation. While you shouldn't expect competitive overclocking results on a flagship CPU such as the i9-12900K, this setup should still be good enough for most gamers out there. The Tough Z690 Plus is a budget-oriented motherboard that features standard 2.5 gigabit other LAN and Wi-Fi support, but it lacks excessive amounts of USB ports like other motherboards in its class, 8 in total. We would have liked to see a few more rear USB ports to improve this segment. Asus has, however, provided four M2 slots for storage on the board, which is a pretty good suite for modern gaming PCs. The rear I.O. has a display port output, but the HDMI port is missing, which can often be helpful in troubleshooting. The aesthetics of this motherboard are quite decent and carry the design language of the top brand. The logo lights up in different colors depending on your RGB configuration, and there's even an RGB glow from the chipset heatsink. It may not seem like much, but look closely and you'll notice Z690 written over the I.O. cover with Tough Gaming proudly displayed below that. In the budget segment, Asus also offers the Asus Prime Z690A motherboard, but we chose the Asus Tough Z690 Plus because of its robust power delivery system and versatile feature set. You may also consider the Asus ROG Strix Z690A instead, but it's still a bit more expensive than the top option. Conclusively, the Tough Z690 Plus Wi-Fi is a great low-cost option for gamers who want value and performance without sacrificing their pockets. The board delivers what it promises, which means you won't be disappointed with this purchase. Number 2. Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Hero. The Asus ROG series has been the go-to for enthusiasts looking to pair a premium motherboard with their dream processor. And as such, we highly recommend any enthusiast to consider the Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Hero if you want to build a high-end gaming or workstation PC using Intel's Alder Lake flagship. In a world where most motherboards have basic VRM designs, the Asus Maximus Z690 Hero stands out because it features a 20 plus 1 phase power delivery system with 90 amp stages. This should be more than enough to handle any overclocking you might want to do on a processor like the i9. 12900K. The Z690 Hero has another trick that makes it an excellent choice for enthusiast level overclocking with Intel's flagship Core i9 12900K. With large heat sinks, adequate fins to cool the VRM efficiently, and no problems under prolonged loads, this motherboard should be perfect if you want performance without any hassle. Moving on to the features, the Maximus Z690 Hero is a premium motherboard with all the features you would expect from such an expensive product. It supports DDR5 memory at speeds of up to 6400 MHz, which guarantees that your system will be up to date with the latest memory standards of 2022. The Maximus Hero offers a 2.5 gigabit other LAN port and Wi-Fi 6E for connectivity, as well as 5 M2 slots if you install the PCIe expansion card to give it more storage power. It also includes two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is an interesting inclusion considering some competitors don't have this feature at all or only offer one such type of connection. However, we would have also liked to see the addition of a display port output to the rear I.O., as it sometimes helps in troubleshooting. Aesthetically, Asus has implemented a fresh new design language with this 
latest generation of Maximus board. With its pixelated design, the ROM Maximus Z690 Hero is reminiscent of old school computer games. The design of this board is rather impressive but straightforward, with large heat sinks covering up the actual PCB. There's RGB lighting on both the I.O. cover and the chipset cover, while most of the components of the board are covered up by massive heat spreaders in a matte finish. We give the edge to the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero over the more expensive Maximus variants, such as the Z690 Extreme, because the Hero has a way better price to performance output. Another competing alternative can be the MSI Z690 Godlike, which is also a ridiculously expensive option. All in all, this high-end motherboard is the best option if you want to make your Core i9-12900K as powerful and stable as possible for gaming, productivity, or simple synthetic tests that require a lot from hardware like rendering. It has got an excellent power delivery system and a versatile feature set which is hard to find on other boards. However, the price tag is rather high, so potential buyers should definitely do their due diligence before finalizing their decision. Number 1. Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Master Intel's 12th gen processors are excellent, and the Z690 Aorus Master is bent on bringing out their full potential. Of course, if you're buying such a high-end motherboard, you will want to buy a premium or even flagship level processor. There's no point in pairing this board with an i5-12600K. Instead, you'll need at least a 12700K, or preferably a 12900K. Keep those costs in mind. Now let's talk about the design for a bit. This Z690 motherboard looks very crowded, but for a very good reason. It has everything one can ask for. The power delivery heat sinks are gigantic, and the same is true for the chipset heat sink. Unlike X570, the Z690 platform does not use an actively cooled chipset. This is good as those chipset fans tend to get quite noisy. You get a respectable amount of spacing between the PCIe slots, which is great because GPU sizes are getting bigger every year. Since this is an Alder Lake motherboard, it brings PCIe Gen 5 and DDR5 support. Support. Only the top PCIe slot has access to the 16 lanes of PCIe Gen 5. As of right now, it's not very useful as graphics cards can barely take advantage of PCIe Gen 4. Fortunately, that does make this motherboard more future-proof than any other option out there. The same is true for DDR5, as you get support for 128 gigs of up to 4800 MHz. While that may seem low, keep in mind that XMP 3.0 will allow you to reach much higher speeds, so that is excellent. Circle back to the design and you get an abundance of fan headers two addressable RGB headers, and a good selection of LEDs for debugging. The two-digit error code LED is present here, along with hardware buttons for power and reset, all of which cater greatly to enthusiasts and performance nerds. We haven't even touched on the network features. The 10GB Ether LAN port is powered by a high-end Aquania controller, and you get support for Wi-Fi 6E plus Bluetooth 5. This motherboard really does have it all. Performance is a non-issue, as this board features 19 plus 1 plus 2 VRM design, overkill for any processor out there. That's the best part about this motherboard. It is completely over the top, and we adore it when manufacturers create top-of-the-line products for enthusiasts. Of course, all that grandeur comes in at a sky-high price and an odd extended ATX form factor, which might cause fitting issues in a mid-tower case or other smaller cases. So what do you think? Do you think another Z690 motherboard is better for your PC build? Tell us your opinion, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.